so-called anti-discrimination laws, which coerce people to violate their consciences on moral issues, are bad enough. But even worse is the next step, where some want to establish federal hate crime laws. The Media Research Center's Bob Knight explains. The end game for the gay rights activists, and I've said this before, is the criminalization of Christianity. Because if you say that traditional morality, biblical morality, is now a form of hate and bigotry, and, and it's akin to racism, and then you bring the full weight of the civil rights laws and the power of government af and, and to go after it, you have criminalized uh, basic Christian moral doctrine. President of the Family Research Council, Tony Perkins, believes the laws limiting the expression of Christian beliefs have dangerous ramifications. It's about promoting a radical agenda. And this is what the American people, and particularly the church, must know, is that this is a step which will lead us to hate speech, which will ultimately silence the churches in this country. Now, this is not theoretical. I know people say, oh, that'll never happen here. It's happened in the UK, it's happened in Australia, it's happening in Canada, and it's even happening in certain cities here in the United States. Hate crimes is a precursor to hate speech and the, the homosexuals know that if they're to succeed with the homosexual agenda, they must, must silence the church in this country. And that's what's behind this.